JPC Letters Thinking through some eternal points, this is an unfinished paper. The first two bridging treatises were written down by HPB and AAB under impression, distributed as papers to Arcane School eventually then published and distributed worldwide. The third installment after 1975 will be the revelatory Science of the Initiates, but not written down immediately, but spoken under impression, or spoken from the written record of the impression of DK via his initiate. For any chance of that revelatory science of the initiates to be studied, it would have to be at some point written down for exact study and reference. It could be recorded also. Listening to a program in no way compares to reading the written word for mental understanding or catalog slash reference slash search, especially of material of this nature. DK gave 15 years for the first installment and 30 years for the second installment. Are we considering 30 or 45 years for the third installment? The Tibetan certainly mentions the radio and speaks much of it throughout his work. He also mentions the telephone, telegraph and television. Live television broadcasts are very successful, also pre-recorded ones of course, as is live radio though he did mention that every eye shall see the Christ and I took it as being in news reports and media coverage. A point to note is that these inventions were probably given by disciples. Internet can work via terrestrial telephone network worldwide or via satellite of course. Today satellite communications and broadcast can be used as with all things for good or bad purposes. One question to be considered is whether this method or the earlier, radio, method would be used as a medium for dissemination of the teachings of the Tibetan. The radio as spoken of by D.K. was established and considered prior to the fifth ray withdrawal and satellite after its withdrawal and as a product of the Tibetans mentioned Nazi scientific prostitutions of technology. Satellite was thought of and engineered as missile technology by Werner Magnus Maximilian, Freiherr von Braun, and launched in 1958 after years of research. He was a weapons developer for the Nazis and a member of the SS. He was taken back to America with 126 Nazi scientists, some say many more, after the war along with all manner of top secret weapons technology and technical plans into NASA and CIA. If the third phase teachings do appear I do not rule out satellite and its use and broadcast as it clearly today can be used for good, though the Haar program is notable in its negative aspects. For Herr von Braun developed the V-Rockets, mentioned by D.K. in first edition of Problems of Humanity, that bombed U.K. and Belgium. For balance to the public, though I see none, it is said he thought at the darkest time in his life when he realized this. But there is no question that he worked for the Nazi regime in its top ranks, and was a ballistic missile engineer, also worked for NASA built the Saturn V rocket of the Apollo manned moon mission, vice president for engineering and development at the aerospace company. Von Braun helped establish and promote the National Space Institute, a precursor of the present-day National Space Society, in 1975, and became its first president and chairman. Today's thoughts of a manned mission to Moon and Mars with lab and living quarters is purely the original idea of Freiherr von Braun. We should at this point bear in mind that he was no disciple but a Nazi scientist prostituting such as D.K. told, and could have left Germany as did Einstein who was a disciple. The Saturn rocket was a converted ICM, intercontinental ballistic missile developed by Braun and German scientists in USA to 1958. Wiki quote. In July of 1969, Werner von Braun saw his lifelong goal of putting a man on the moon come true. To honor the occasion, President Richard Nixon invited von Braun and his wife to a dinner at the White House. For 15 years after World War II, von Braun worked with the U.S. Army in the development of ballistic missiles. End quote. The Nixon-Braun Association is notable. 
in 1958 his work successfully launched the world's first satellite. Von Braun developed for the Americans the V-2 rockets, later cruise missiles, ground-to-air etc., using slave labor from concentration camps who lived appallingly and died due to poor treatment and conditions. Many of the V-2 rockets were taken back to U.S. along with missile technology that was greatly expanded and developed into today's current arsenal of ballistic and nuclear missiles and of the many types known today. Russia also took some scientists and technology back to Soviet Russia to develop their armaments and satellite and space technology in competition with the United States of America. Von Braun was said to have expanded the work of American scientist Robert Goddard. This is true to an extent insofar as being inspired from his research though the German technology was soon far advanced and used directly in the military. Goddard's work in the U.S. was never taken seriously or developed as weapons technology. Wiki quote. The V-2, however, was technically far more advanced than the most successful of the rockets designed and tested by Goddard. End quote. Goddard's work was also stolen by NASA and U.S. military and used directly in military development and the rocket and space race. Fascist militarism. Around 1944, D.K. said America had a latent fascism and was, quote, at this time a definite menace to world peace. Wiki, quote, in 1960, the parties settled the suit and the U.S. Armed Forces and NASA paid out an award of $1 million, half went to his wife, at that time the highest government settlement ever paid in a patent case. But nevertheless, as for Herr von Braun, also to become technical director of the U.S. Army Ordnance Guided Missile Project in Alabama, prostituted and corrupted weapons technology directly into the Nazi and American war machine, as D.K. said along with many other German fifth race scientists via weapons technologies and rocket engineering. His work is directly and indirectly referenced by the Tibetan JPC letters. 27.01.2014